well, good morning. I'm here to see Moesha. Oh, well, you look like you got a little money. <laughs> She's learning. Oh, no, 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 no. We have, we have the wrong idea. See, I... Okay, the rule in this suite is don't ask, don't tell. And in my case, don't care. <laughs> have a seat. <laughs> Moesha, your sugar daddy's here. <laughs> Oh, hey. Hey. Uh, who are you? Oh, I'm God. Excuse me, but do you live here? With all these fine girls? I never make it to class, dog. <laughs> oh, did you want something? Oh, no, 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 thanks. Well, if you change your mind, help yourself. Oh, but don't touch anything with an M on it. That's Moesha's stuff, and she kind of crazy. She fine. <laughs> I came to talk to Mo. Look, Hakeem, I saw something here this morning that made me feel very uncomfortable. Oh, that was Alicia. Yeah, yeah. But trust me, in about an hour, after she adds a foot of hair and a ton of makeup to her, she ain't gonna look that bad. <laughs> no, 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 Hakeem, I'm talking about the fact that a young man came out of her room. Now, I hope that's not typical behavior around here. Oh, no, no, no. Look, um, I'm, I'm sure that he just came by to, to, so they can walk to class yeah, together. Yeah, well, she just went back to bed. Well, she's undisciplined. <laughs> Everybody else around here is on the ball, man. Trust me. Yeah, like, 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 like you come to me. See now, coming in from her 6 a.m. class, right? Six. Boy, you drunker than I was last night. <laughs> oh, so you were out all night drinking, huh? Drinking? No, Mr. Mitch, I was out thinking. <laughs> uh, do you want me to get Mo for you? Okay. Mm. In just one second. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, that's the shortcut. <laughs> Daddy. Mo, I need to talk to you. Good, because I need to talk to you. Yeah, yeah well, I know that look. So, uh, Mo, I'll save you a seat. All right, see you, Mr. Mitch. All right, I can. Mo, why are you trying to find Barbara Lee? Dorian came to me and asked me if I would help him find his birth mother. Yeah, well, why didn't he come to me? Why didn't you come to me, Mo? He said he had some questions that only she could answer. So we went by our house Wait and... Wait a minute. He met her? Yeah, Daddy, but that's not the point. No. Mo, that's exactly the point. I mean, how could you do something like that without talking to me first? Well, Dorian asked me not to. Mo, Dorian is my child. He lives under my roof, and I have a right to know what's going on. All right, Daddy, look, you have some questions for me, and I definitely have some questions for you. But right now, I have to take a test. All right, go ahead and take the test. But make sure you come home tonight so that we can finish this. Okay, I promise. Uh, Mo, Alicia, not right now. Well, all right. But I just thought somebody should know that Nisi's asleep in the bathtub. <laughs> I had a great time, too. I don't know how I thought my mom would be, but she's she way cooler than I expected. Really? I want to get to know you better, too. Come on, man. No girl's gonna fall for that I want to get to know you better line. <laughs> Tonight? Yeah, I'll come over. Yeah, for sure. Hey, that worked? Ask her if she got a little sister. <laughs> Seven o'clock? Sounds good. All right, I'll see you then. All right, now. Hey, Dorian. Hey, Uncle Frank. I, uh, understand that you met Barbara Lee yesterday. So? Dorian, I'd always thought that when you were ready to find your mother that you'd at least come and talk to me about it first. Why? So you could try to stop me? Well, why do you think I'd do something like that? Because you always try to mess up everything I do. 
Dorian, I only want the best for you, son. I mean, if you want a relationship with Barbara, I'm not going to stand in the way. But whatever happens, I just want you to know you can always count on me. Well, thanks, Uncle Frank. But now I have my mom to count on. Let's see, this is your cousin, Junior, and this is your Uncle Money. Uh, Uncle Money? What, is that a nickname? No, no, that's his given name. Your Aunt Pee Wee hit the number during his birth. Uh, <laughs> I, I kind of look like him. I guess, yeah, you take away the pot belly and the gold tooth. You could be twins. <laughs> I like being here with you. This is nice, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder who that could be. Excuse me, Dorian. Mama, she lied. Uh, Mama, what's going on? Um, I don't know. I should be asking you that. Who's this young boy you got up in this big old house when my brother's not home? I I'm Dorian. Uh, uh, a, f a friend of the family's. <laughs> Hi, I'm Maya, their pissed off auntie. You know what? I love you and my brother. I do. Okay, but Satan spat out those children. <laughs> Maya, you know Raynard and I are going out to dinner tonight. Where am I going to find a sitter at the last minute? I don't Try 1-800-NOT-ME. <laughs> I'm not keeping those bad kids. These are not bad kids. They're free spirits. Oh, well, your free spirits broke my glass coffee table, locked my Jabari in the dryer, and scratched my face out of all my pictures. <laughs> can't you just give me a chance and just do this for me one last time? No, I can't. I'm sorry. I have to think about my nerves. <laughs> Good night. <sighs> You got to ease up. I'm running out of sitters to call. Mama, Auntie Maya is crazy. I know. So is Uncle Darnell. He wouldn't even let me drive his car. <laughs> uh, hey, Reese. Hey. What's up, little man? Don't what's up. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't play friends with me. I don't even know you. Uh, Ray is very sensitive. It just takes him a little time to warm up to people. If you excuse me a minute, Dorian, I gotta find a sitter. Um, yo, why don't I hang out here with them until you get back? It it'll give us a chance to get to know each other. We don't want to know you. He's your brother. I already have a brother. Well, now you have two. You know what? I really appreciate this, Dorian. You know what? You're going to be a great big brother. I'm going to try. Now I'm going to go get dressed and uh, you two behave. Yes, Mama. Now, look, I'm not your Auntie Maya, all right? So don't think you can get over on me. And all them games y'all got, I wrote the rules. Man, we gonna break you. What are you waiting for? Stab him! Stab him! What the... Oh, my see you know you shouldn't be watching that. What would your mom do if she saw you? She would explain to me the difference between real violence and TV violence, and then she would leave me alone. Why don't I leave you alone with your homework? <laughs> and, and you need to hang up that phone, dog. You've been on it all night. Man, no trip. I got child abuse hotline on speed down. <laughs> You told me to hang up the phone, so I did. So now I'm about to use this one. Hey, give me that. Man, you too young to have a cell phone. Man, you're just mad because you can't even afford one, brokey. <laughs> and besides, Barbara got me that cell phone. Barbara? Yeah, right now I got me this two-way pager. And what's up with all these questions? Who are you, Regis? <laughs> what difference does it make? We know you're just here trying to get some of our money. Yep. Man, I want to get to know you and your moms. I don't want none of your money. <laughs> yeah, right. Look at you. You got last month's Jordans on. And you got this old, old FUBU gear. <laughs> I mean, look at the pager. Oh, I know. Let me see. Hey, <laughs> hey I hey, got his pager. Hey, hey Reese, go on. Wait, give me my pager. Hey, hey, Reese. It's on. Oh. Kick in. Hey, give me pass that back. <laughs> hey, Reese, who run this house now? We do. Hey, what? Hey, 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 man, get off my arm, dog. <laughs> now look what you did. Oh, man, 
better stop crying. Maybe now you can get something from this new millennium. <laughs> oh, hey, dog, you gotta give me my cell back. <laughs> hey, dog, that might be a fly honey calling. Hey, no come on. Hey, you gotta give me my cell back. Yeah, sure. yeah who runs this house now? We <laughs> see who runs this house now. Well, Miles, that was quite a meal you put together. Yeah, I've been watching Martha Stewart. <laughs> hey, I hope you save enough room for dessert. Oh, of course. You know how much I love cheesecake. <laughs> right there. Yeah. Bon appetit. Uh, Miles, what is this? It's cheesecake. See, I don't like cream cheese, so I use mozzarella. <laughs> Uh, you, you know, I, I really am full after all. <laughs> hey, hey, Mom, you want some cheesecake? Oh, no, I'll take a dolly back. <laughs> uh, anyway, Miles, I'd like for you to go upstairs so I can talk to Moesha for a few minutes. Aw, oh, Dad, hey, don't you think I'm a little bit old to be getting sent to my room? You're right, son. Go clean out the garage. <laughs> I'll be in my room. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So, which one of us wants to start? Well, Daddy, I just want you know, to say... Moesha. <laughs> I'm really upset that you and Dorian went looking for Barbara Lee behind my back. Well, I'm upset too, Daddy, and I wish we never found her lying on my mother like that. What? Well, what did she say? Well, she had the nerve to make it sound like that back when I was little, Mom left us. I mean, I know better, but Dorian just sat there and ate it all up. Just don't see why she had to lie on my mom just to get in good with Dorian. So she told you about that, huh? Well, are you saying that it's true? Well, I'm sure it's not as bad as Barbara Lee tried to make it sound, but your mother did leave, both of us. But, Mo, she was just trying to teach me a lesson. She felt that taking care of you for a weekend would make me appreciate how much hard work she did every day. So she only left for a weekend? Well, from you. She came back, got you, and then she moved in with the Ontario for the rest of the summer. And both of us were so stubborn, I didn't think we'd ever get back together. We were gone that long? Seemed like forever to me. Your mother and I were both too young to really understand how much work goes into a marriage. Well, Daddy, what did you guys fight about? Which time? It was like that? Oh, no, 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 don't get me wrong, Mo. There were good times, too. Yeah, I remember that woman's laughter could make me forget about any argument. And her smile, Mo. God, that woman had a smile that could just light up a room. You remember that smile, don't you? Mm-hmm, I do. <laughs> well, once we both had done some growing up, it just got a lot easier to live up to that commitment we'd made to each other. And then the laughter and those smiles weren't so few and far between anymore. Daddy, why don't you ever tell me any of this? Oh, Mo. I mean, this isn't exactly an easy conversation to have with your child. Well, besides, by the time you were old enough to understand, our relationship had grown way past that. I mean, we had a happy marriage, two beautiful kids, and a whole new outlook. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I owe somebody an apology. Oh, Mo, I forgive you. Actually, I was talking about Dorian. <laughs> oh. I love you, Daddy. Love you too, baby. <laughs> That's my pumpkin. Yeah, you can keep trying, Ray Ray, but I promise you, you will not be able to blow that television on. Man, I don't care. If you don't care, you need to stop puffing and puffing like the big bad wolf. And you need to stay out of my business, big head. Hey, hey I know you hey, ain't trying hey, to hey, stop. Hold on. What's up with the names, man? Apologize to your sister. What? You heard me apologize. Okay. I'm sorry, Racy. You have a big head. <laughs> Dang, boy. That's your little sister, man. You should care about her feelings. Then you should care about mine. Now, can I watch TV? No. Well, then she still got a big head. <laughs> it sure is quiet in here. Where are my babies? Hey, Mama. Man, get him out of here. He is getting on my nerves. <laughs> What happened, baby? He's just tripping because I told him he had to do his homework before he watched television. Well, why would you say that? Who cares? You're here now. Go regulate. <laughs> Look, I was just trying to teach him some priorities. <laughs> Dorian, his priority is to be a child. Now, if little Ray Ray feels the need to unwind, I want to let him know it's okay. 
Now, uh, where's Reese? That's another thing. See, I had to get on him right. for calling her. I got your big head. Hey, mama. I got your big head. Hey, Reese, what is wrong? Ray Ray called me a big head. See, I tried to make him apologize. Shh, 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 shh. Come here. Now, honey, isn't mommy always telling you how smart you are? Yes. Well, don't you think that your head would have to be a little bigger to hold that big, smart brain? I guess so. Then what are you so angry about? Nothing, I guess. But I still want to hit him. Uh, later. <laughs> Listen, I want the two of you to go to your rooms. I want to talk to Dorian. But I don't have cable in my room. Then you can watch mine. All right, then let's go. Uh, oh, so we cool now, little bro? Nah. I just want my cell phone back. <laughs> See, man, I knew you tried to steal something. I know. <laughs> Sit down, Daddy. Look, I'm sorry I didn't believe Ray Ray when he told me he could do his homework when he felt like it. Well, Dorian, you know, Raynard and I, we don't want to pressure our kids the way our parents pressured us. We want them to be able to express themselves freely and openly. Yeah, free and open is cool. It's the loud and disrespectful I have a problem with. So you gave him a dose of that heavy-handed Mitchell discipline. I'm not a Mitchell. Oh, well, you may not like it, baby, but you are Frank Mitchell Jr. Hey, can you stop calling me that? All right. Mr. Long? It doesn't feel right either. I'm not a Mitchell or a Long or a Lee. Guess I don't know who I am. And you thought that finding me would help you figure this out? I guess. I thought I might fit in here with, with you and your family. And now that I found you, I don't want to ever lose you from my life, ever. No, look. You're not ever going to lose us. This is just one day. So what if it didn't go well? Maybe you come back tomorrow and they'll like you better. I don't know about tomorrow. Uh, maybe we should just take it slow. Can I call you in a couple days? I look forward to it. All right. Bye, Barbara. for the way I behaved at your mother's house yesterday. Oh, that's all right. It's cool. No, it's not. I shouldn't have called her a liar. Hey, she was telling you something you didn't want to hear. And you know we all got that Mitchell temper. Well, look, the next time you go over there, can you apologize to your mother for me? Well, I don't know when that's going to be. Dory, is everything OK? I mean, did something happen with Barbara? Not really. We're just going to keep in touch. Take it slow. You know, see what happens. Well, if you need to talk. Nah. I'm kind of beat, y'all. I'm going to just go to bed. All right? All right. Yeah. See you later. Good night, Dorian. Good night, Mom. Good night, Dad. Dad? Hey, Nisi. Hey, Mom. Hey, Akeem, what are you doing here? Well, I just came by to make sure everything was okay. Things got kind of crazy this morning. Liar! Die! Not stop it! You guys! You know I'm just playing. Oh, so was I. Hey, what? Okay, all right. The playtime is over, children. Uh, okay, I am sorry, Moesha, but living in such close quarters, occasionally you will just have to witness my joy. Hmm. Well, if your idea of joy has been squirted with Nisi's toe fungus spray, you can have it. Look, after the way y'all behaved this morning, I'm afraid to ask my dad to come visit again. 
Sugar Daddy was your real daddy? Not too bad. He smelled of good soap and new money. What? You smelled Mr. Mitch? Wrong on so many levels. You know what? I'm just gonna go to bed because it's been a very long day. Guy, come, come. Tuck me in. Well. <laughs> Oh, you... This stuff doesn't work. It's supposed to kill fungus. <laughs> the new girl in school wants to be just like Lizzie. You're my role model. But check out her new look. She dyed her hair exactly like me. And she's dressing exactly like me, too. And it's freaking me out. Lizzie McGuire. Today at 530 Eastern.